Hey, what's up guys? My name is The Cherno and welcome to episode 91 of Game Programming. Okay, so today we're going to talk about animation for our new AI dummy guy. Um, so right now, he's not animated, okay? And it's probably going to make... Um, oh, well, animation is not the only thing we're going to talk about. We're going to also talk about how to, how to actually move him. Um, obviously, and uh, you, you guys could probably figure that out, but hey, I should probably show it just in case. Um, <laughs> right now, he actually looks like a uh, like a carpet, because look at this, like he's completely flat on the ground here, and I can just walk over him, and it's actually really funny. Um, but anyway, so we essentially want to make him um, animated, so we have made an animated sprite here. In fact, you know what we're going to do? This is completely improvised. Um, I just decided to... Uh, to do this now because it's actually probably a good idea. Instead of having him ha uh, have the same skin as the player, just for now at least, having the same um, sprite as the player, let's make him have the uh, the King Cherno sprite because um, at least that that will basically differ differ him from from what we look like right now. So I'm just going to go into our workspace, into our game programming rain. Here we are in resources. We have a folder called textures and a folder called uh, sprite sheet. Okay, and in sprite sheet we've got this player guy. So let's open the sprite sheet in. Um, in paint.net all right there it is um, and all I'm gonna do here is just basically copy this guy so if I uh, hit S and then um select this area here or of course if you don't want to hit S there is this tools palette here you can actually just select um, the selecting thing which is the top left icon here select the area here and control C that file new it should automatically uh, set the size to what your selection area was, which was 96 by 96, of course, because each of these sprites is 32 pixels wide and high, and there are three of them. Hit OK, Control V, there we go, perfect, okay? So basically what we've done right now is essentially the same thing as our uh, player has. Now, now, um, we don't have a third uh, column, uh, sorry, a fourth column here, because um, we decided to actually use uh, the flip, I guess, operation to flip him. That's cool, okay? Not really necessary, but um, I don't know if I should... Um, let's actually let's actually screw that, okay? The, the flipping is cool. I've showed you guys how, how, you want, how you can do that if you want to. I'm not going to do it that way, okay? I'm actually just going to model it the same way as this. So we have going down first, then going up, then left, then right. So up, sorry, down, up, left, right, okay? So that's up right now, so let's just change this across. Uh, okay, left or right, so right is the last one. Let me just, um, so this is why uh, grid, grids are good. So let's maybe make a new layer here, just, just for now. And I'm gonna go ahead and go image, um, sorry, not image, effects grid. And I'm just gonna make it 32 by 32 here. Um, oh, yep, it's a, yep. <laughs> um, now, foreground only, hit okay. Now we have this grid thing here which is very useful because uh, it'll allow us to actually uh, select um, just the row here, just the column here. And let's just cut that, oops, the wrong layer. Cut that and paste it. Um, I could have just moved it, couldn't I? I am really quite smart here. Uh, right over here, which is here, I believe, yes. Yep, right there. Okay, um, I'm gonna hit enter on that. So, uh, and then I'm gonna move this up to the second one, so M to move, move him over here to the second one. I think that's that's right there. Um, and then I'm of course the top one. I want to move around, so I'm basically just arranging him the same way that our other one was. This glorious King Cherno, and by other one I mean the uh, the updated player sprite that we made. Okay, so now what we need to do is replace this one with this uh, this uh, second sorry third row here with um with him going. Uh, the other way, which is uh, surprisingly uh, left. So copy and paste that, and then just um, click and drag here, and it'll have to be, I think, like that. That look good, or is it like that? Um, great. Okay, let's screw that. Let's um, let's. Oh, we copied him with white space as well. Oh, I think that's not moved correctly. All right, doesn't matter. That is thirty-two. So I guess we should be up to here. There we go. Um, that looks right. Okay, and then we can of course just delete this layer of the grid lines. And you can see that we did screw up here somehow. And unfortunately, I don't know where. Um, that's all right, we'll assume that's right and we'll just uh, quickly grab this color and paste it into here. Okay, cool. So now what we've done is we've actually made um, this sprite sheet be the same as, as this sprite sheet, okay? But obviously with a different sprite. So let's save that. Um, 
And we'll, we'll call this uh, Dummy. No, we'll call this King Cherno. He needs a real name. Um, and we'll just save it in Sheets. Okay. So now that we've done that, let's use our um, our awesome uh, uh, animated sprite class here to make that. So in in sheet, what is that? Sprite sheet, sorry. In sprite sheet, um, we've got these uh, this uh, what am I doing? Player, yeah. Whoops. Let's actually move. Um, we don't need this anymore, do we? Oh, hang on. What's that drawing from? Oh, that's the player sprite sheet. Player sheet. Oh, so we, we're not using this anymore, are we? The player down stuff. That shouldn't be existing anymore because we've got an animator sprite. So let's get rid of that entirely and you can see it does give us errors. Let's see. Uh, in animator sprite. Okay, it looks like we do need... Um, oh, I see. Oh, yeah, no, of course. Sorry. I just forgot how I um, made this. Whoops. <laughs> Don't delete that. Make a new uh, one over here. A new sprite sheet here called, um, yeah, that's right, because we made the whole sprite, uh, sub sprite sheet thing called dummy. And of course, this will, uh, draw in, draw in from King Cherno, lion, <laughs> King Cherno, um, dot PNG. And, uh, it will be the same resolution, of course. And what I want to do now is, uh, exactly the same, right? Because we made the sheet the same. So we can just copy and paste this and, of course, change all of this dummy, uh, all of this player, uh, sprite sheet here to just dummy. Just like that, okay? And then, of course, change that to dummy left, dummy right, uh, so dummy up, dummy down, whatever, dummy right. And that should uh, that should work out fine, okay? So now what we need to do is, the quick way of doing this is probably going into player and just simply copying and pasting all of this animated sprite stuff into our new dummy class here that we made yesterday in episode 90 of game programming. Um, and of course, I'll just change this to be dummy down and dummy, whoops. Didn't copy that. Dummy up, dummy left, and dummy right. All right. And uh, of course, I'll go back to play. Let me just close everything here. Um, whoops. <laughs> I meant to close all but this, but it doesn't matter. Open player, open um, player and dummy here. Uh, from player, I'm just going to take... Uh, well, first of all, we should set the sprite to be a default one. So instead of dummy forward, just set it to... Uh, sorry, instead of player forward, we'll set it to dummy forward, which does not exist. Um, let's see. Didn't I call it that? What did I call it? Oh, we didn't make sprites for that. That's fine. Um, we'll set uh, the sprite for dummy to be... Hmm, think, I think. Uh, probably just one of these, right? So, down. Okay. Um, so, sprite equals down by default. I uh, hope that works. Uh, let's go back into player here. And we've got this whole walking stuff. Um, so, if input dot up, let's just copy all this. Um over here. So this is all our, all our movement code. Okay, um, we could make an intermediate class that actually already has this stuff. In fact, I'm thinking I might do it that way. Um, of course, we don't need input dot up. Um, we just need to gauge which direction he's going in. So we'll just make um, up probably. Oh, we could just do, um, we could make a quick enumeration that deals with that. In fact, I probably will do that. So private enum uh, direction here. And we'll just have up, down, whoops. Up, down, freaking hell. Up, down, left, right. I'm pro at this. Okay, up, down, left, right. Uh, we'll quickly make a, um, I don't know why I capitalized that. Like a boss here. So private direction, uh, I'll call it just DIR. In fact, I'm thinking I might just uh, cut and paste this thing into our mob class, um, just because it does apply to all mobs. Um, so we'll make it protected, of course. Oh, in fact, we can, yeah, we'll make, we'll make them both protected. All right. So, um, we've got this, this, this is a direction here as well. Uh, we'll cut that direction and j just because it's like, um, zero, one, two, three is that's how I roll usually with direction. But a lot of you guys were saying that, oh, it's hard. It's, it's blah, blah, blah. You were just complaining being like, oh, I don't know what it means. Why don't you just make an enumeration? So I will. <laughs> Um, remember, an enumeration is the same as integers, essentially. The data in an, in an enumeration is stored as an integer. Um, so, in terms of performance and stuff, it should be relatively the same. Um, I haven't done extensive testing on that, so don't quote me on that. But, hey. Okay, what's going on with this? Uh, these errors here? Uh, direction dot uh, up. 
All right, okay, no errors, good. Um, so we've reset the direction here, and I think up here, what's the deal here? Dummy direction, oh, okay, let's not import that, because we moved it here. Okay, sweet. Um, so all this stuff now, uh, if uh, direction equals direction dot up, sorry, that's wrong. If we are moving up, then, um, oh, hang on. How do we know, okay, that's fine. So if direction dot up, if, direction equals direction dot up then do that so this sprite now i think that's just called anim sprite isn't it so private oh, how do we do it in player let's take a look here so we had an animated sprite here okay cool so we'll make it private animated sprite called sprite um sorry which call it anim and anim sprite uh we'll set it equal to down to begin with um and that will get rid of those errors. Now this YA minus minus stuff, let's quickly make a uh, int XA and int YA, okay? Make sure that they're both set to zero. In fact, I do like dividing them into separate lines because that's how I roll. And input.left again, we'll just change this to direction um, uh, down. And we'll change this to direction.left. And this of course to direction.right. Uh, this episode is much longer than I intended for it to be, but that's all right. Um, rewriting this code is uh, probably better. <laughs> okay, so, um, and then we make it move by whatever X and Y is. Okay, um, that's probably, I'm just realizing it's probably wrong because um, Y and X shouldn't, definitely shouldn't be here, but that's all right, okay? Um, that should, uh, in fact, yeah, that's completely wrong. What am I doing? Um, if direction up, then there's no point in us doing this. In fact, uh, this is if, okay, let's, um, <laughs> let's let's restructure this. Sorry, okay. I am sorry for wasting a bit of your time. Um, let's get rid of all these YAXAs stuff, and uh, we will move this everywhere though. This direction thing. So direction. Uh, I think this was right. This was yeah. This was left obviously, and this was down. Okay. So what we want to say is basically if uh, XA is uh, greater than zero, um, or if it's less than zero. Sorry, this should be YA. So if YA is greater than zero, we're going down, obviously. But if YA is less than zero, we're going up. And same thing here, right? So if um, XA is, uh, to go left, if XA is less than zero, we're going left. If, however, XA is greater than zero, we are going right. Okay, so all we need to do now is set a method um, for XA and YA, and that will move our, that will move our guy, because uh, we have this move method here, of course. Uh, and walking will be true, okay? so. Just like we did in player, we had this uh, thing here that said, if walking, then let's animate the sprite, else set it to frame zero, right? So again, if the player is walking, then let's, or uh, if this mob is walking, then make sure that we actually animate him, right? Because we want his legs to move. So um, anim sprite dot update. Else, if he's not walking, if he's just standing still, we clearly don't want to move his legs. So else we can set anim sprite dot frame, uh, set frame, to zero because that'll that that won't leave him mid walk like that'll actually set him to just stand up straight um, instead of having his leg like in the air <laughs> and that that should be about about it so let's just run this and see if it crashes okay it did crash that was a good prediction there Jono um, null pointer exception for this oh, why is there a null pointer exception this is in screen okay so it looks like sprite's probably null right no really what's null here it says sprite's not null what on earth is null well, it can only be pixels or sprite. So let's go back uh, into, we didn't set anything here, no. Okay, let's go back and set sprite to something that we reliably know is not null. So sprite.flower, <laughs> this will be funny. Um, okay, that's still crashed, interesting. Okay, so what the hell is giving up? Oh, rain out of bounds, where did I get null pointer from? That's fine, let's get rid of um flower here. <laughs> that was a nice little fix there. Okay, so uh, are we still getting a null though? Oh, it is null. So it's null and an array next out of bounds exception. Wow, that's a double error. Okay, let's, um, the way that we fixed it for player was that we, we set it to a sprite that we reliably knew was the default sprite for the player. So let's also make a sprite, a default sprite for the, um, for our guy here. So let's make, uh, let's make a public static sprite called just dummy and we'll set it equal to new, uh, sprite. And of course we will use, um, just basically zero, zero, well, what else do we need? We need size as well. So 32, 32, zero, zero out of sprite sheet dot uh, dummy. Okay, 
That's it. Um, in fact, we can just use dummy down. We don't need to use such an extravagant sprite shape. Uh, move him here. All right, so this is our default dummy sprite from Sprite. Um, so sprite dot uh, dummy, okay? And if we launch that, we should not get the uh, error anymore. Oh, we get another error, great, okay. Man, this sprite stuff is not fun. Um, oh, it's doing size, why is it doing size? See, I don't know why, but I just got this idea at the beginning to just assume that um, uh, we're gonna have square sprite shapes. Like, I don't know what I was smoking, but um, yeah, it wasn't great. So, sheet dot is it get with? Oh, we don't even have that. Oh, it's with with capital. I was gonna say that was, that would be weird. Let's see if that worked. Okay. Um, and yeah, we do have a default thing here. Okay, so that did work. Make sure we define a default sprite. Uh, just in case these sprite sheets, the animated sprite sheets, haven't been um. Uh, instantiated or initialized yet. Okay, so cool. Now that we've got that covered, um, let's get rid of mob here. Um, let's just try moving him, okay? So what I want to do for that is um, I'll launch this right over here and I'm actually just going to move this out of the way. Um, and what I'm going to do here is on my uh, while it's running, this is a great thing about Java, by the way, you can uh, do anything you want. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to set, um, let's make him move, uh, right, for example. So I'm going to set X, oh, we'll make him, make him move down. Y, A, plus, plus. Hit control S. Look at that. He's moving down. He's not actually being animated though for some reason. Let's move him back up. Y, A, minus, minus. Hit control S and look at that. Um, let's make him, let's move him down and make him stationary. Um, so walking, where, where are we setting that? Okay. We're setting it here. So that should be updating the sprite, but it's not for some reason. That's uh, that's kind of weird. Let's um, let's make him stop here. Okay, good. That was a clutch stopping there. Um, let's see. So to make him um, so our animated sprite here should be updating if he's walking. So if x a y a does not equal zero, walking is true. So walking should be true, right? Let's just make sure that um, it is true by printing walking over here. Uh, so if I make this, okay, so you can see he is walking. Um, now, the way that we make these animated sprites, how are we doing that? So um, we're, we're making them from a sprite sheet here and we're setting the length to be length, yeah, that's fine. Um, hmm, that's quite bizarre, isn't it? Uh, because he should be, um, for player we, we don't have to do this stuff though, do we? I think this stuff is, uh, should be gone. Yeah, he's still, okay, good. Um, right, so, yeah, okay. Oh, okay, I see, I think. Um, no, walking is true though. Weird, okay, let's um animate him on the x-axis here and see what that gives us. Oh, that doesn't even flip a sprite. What? Why? That's weird, isn't it? And made a sprite is set to run. Oh, hang on. We forgot to set the sprite to be equal to animated sprite. Whoops, my bad. Okay, so uh, you can see here in player that somewhere, uh, I think it's over here. Yeah, we set sprite equal to animated sprite dot get sprite, anim sprite dot get sprite. Make sure you copy and paste that into over here because our sprite is not changing at all. So if we save that, you can see it's actually pointing in the right direction here. Um, if we save that and make it XA minus minus, you can see that he is animated here. And it looks bad because um, <laughs> I must have, uh, I must not have aligned the sprites correctly. Okay, that, that seems to work. Um, so let's minus minus that and change that to YA. Yeah, he's animated. Okay, sweet. So that is how we animate our AI character. This tutorial was probably a bit longer than usual, probably could have been shorter, but um, it did take um, a bit of time to solve a few issues. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Game Programming. If you did, please hit the like button. 200 likes equals one video per day. 300 likes equals two videos per day. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.